Nice. Having a little more, having a little more success with the rifle this time, at least. It really sends him flying when it hits, which is weird considering how low its actual velocity appears to be. <laughs> yeah, it seems like. It's oh, oh, that's right. I, you can you can get those onto your friends. <laughs> you just... That's hilarious. She doesn't even care. <laughs> Maybe she didn't realize I got... Well, it, came, it hit her from behind. Maybe she didn't realize it was my fault. Did you slide kick your way in here? Yeah, a lot of the game from this point on is going to take place in more urban environments. Mm hmm there goes another news bot. Oh, well. Was it saying anything remotely important? Not really. Sometimes demolish is the only way through. Whatever. Um. Yeah, that's... That is kind of basically Gray's general philosophy is... You encounter any sort of obstacle, just break things until the obstacle goes away. It's a hard-headed mentality, but it's one I can appreciate. Probably probably literally hard-headed, he just headbutts things. <laughs> you know, he like his character design I definitely get a Wolverine vibe from. Yeah. Yeah, like his hairstyle does sort of And his general sort of Yeah. Kind of squat looking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's these uh, man eating plants now. Huh. Alright, so it seems like the uh, mooks run away from you when you've got a charge shot. Or am I just. Interesting. I'm not sure. I, I it's. Because uh... you started charging up that flare and then that guy was running away. I think that might have just been to demo demonstrate the plant eating someone. Oh. We we run into Captain Walker going the other way. <laughs> nice. The ghost of Colonel Conrad appears to berate. Gray about getting the doc and not doc killed. <laughs> yeah, so what are these fungus things? Why are they here? I don't know, they're just native organisms, I guess. That's creepy. They... Yeah. Well, I'll repeat my easy earlier comments about this actually this perhaps being a poor poor choice of planet for a uh, resort. I mean I guess like Real resorts don't aren't really all that far away from stuff that could kill you, but you know. Well, that's not the worst thing this place has, as you'll see. <laughs> Great. I mean, eventually we'll find out just what it was that caused the downfall of the whole thing. Ow! Okay, yeah, this is where I died. I knew I died. I got killed by like a sniper at some point. Oh, that sucks. Was it a sniper? I think so, yeah. Alright, let's try this again. Man, we're not too far. You know, she's pretty lightly armored for a commando. Like, not even in the, like, usual video game sexy way, either. She's just wearing, like, a tank top. Well, I don't know if she's... <clears throat> Maybe it's a weight issue, or... Maybe. Ooh. Nice. I, I don't really recall what the other... What the Dead Echo guy we saw before was wearing. If he was better armored. I think he was. I th yeah, I think, I swear he had the big, like, Gears of War looking armor. Yeah, 
And I, yeah, yeah, he was pretty. I don't know. Con con considering General Serrano, it would not shock me if he told her to wear less than the male Dead Echo guys. Hmm. I'm not joking. Well, like, the thing is, like, uh, like I can get that, but she's not dressed in, like, the normal provocative like, yeah. sort of way. She's just, like, not wearing armor. Which just confuses me. Maybe it, maybe it got, you know, alien fungus spore goo on it yeah. or something. Seriously, like, as far as uh, female soldier characters go, she's actually dressed better than, um, like, the Gears of War ladies, who are just, for some reason, wearing, like, armor bikinis. Really? If I, rem are they, are, if I remember they right, they're, they're, well? mid they're midriff, no. If I remember right, their midriff is still exposed. What, just as part of the regular uniform? Uh, I don't know if, if there were just regular female gears. I'm not too familiar with the Gears of War universe, so... Oh! Y y Ishii's going into robo-mode! <laughs> no! Ouch. Y y Ishii can be a tough co-worker to get along with. Hostile work environment. I'll reiterate again, he's not normally like that when he doesn't have a merciless AI grafted to his nervous system. Yeah. He has his good days and his bad days, you know. <laughs> So is he taking point? Is that what's going on here? Okay, oh, now we've got a little... A little puzzle. There's a little time. As I recall, if you... I, I, if you don't get it in time, I believe, I don't know if she either tells you or if she shoots it down herself, but she kind of chews you out for being a dumbass. <laughs> there you go. So what's the wish? Okay. Mm. I'm a good Ishii. I'm not a bad guy. Yeah, he hasn't. Fine. Well, that was awfully charitable. Well, a little... Knocking loose a giant wrecking ball brought us together. <laughs> but... Boy, well, this, this is how Grayson bonds with people. By breaking things. Okay, do you know what? The planet was inundated with radiation. They tried to get the uh, human population out, but... You'd think that'd be, like, the first thing they'd check for. Well, it's like, it's like these, like, ra giant radiation, like, electromagnetic storms. Yeah. It's, just, it's, it's like, you know, like, those, those weird storms that they have, like, in, in Star Trek to explain why they can't, why they arbitrarily can't use the transporters that week. The tachyon things? I, I they don't, they're, I don't, well, there's several different types of weird storms in Star Trek that arbitrarily prevent them from using the transporter that week. It can't be the same thing every time. No, of course not. But no, it's yeah. There's some there's some sort of like giant like catastrophic like inter like stellar radiation storms in this area, and they had shield. Well, you'll see what happened, but well, nobody came, became the Fantastic Four, so no. Story's already losing points in my eyes. I think that's the dumbest superhero, like, origin ever. What the like, we were on a space mission, storm? and there was a random radiation storm, and everybody else died, but not us. I don't think anyone, I don't think the other, I, I think it was just them on the ship, wasn't it? Uh, maybe in their original story, I think. Yeah, in the original one. I think in the Ultimates, and other... Modern iterations. Okay. They are... Well, Ultimates is a different animal. Yeah. 
I'm trying to remember. I think in the movie, there are other people. And everybody else besides the, the four and Doctor Doom get hurt. But I can't remember. I remember very little about the movie, aside from it, how unmemorable it was, for example. <laughs> Chris Evans being a dick. It's so weird to watch that and be like, I oh, remember... that's Captain America now. <laughs> I remember Doctor Doom being incredibly lame and everything else also being incredibly lame, but especially Doctor Doom. And he's just the, uh, the guy from 90210. Oh, was he? Yeah. The plastic surgeon. I didn't know that. Although it's better than the what I've heard everything I've heard about the upcoming Fantastic Four where apparently Doctor Doom is like a hacker or something. Awesome. Okay, now see this guy's got a new uh new boss type and a new weapon type. Oh nice. He shoots these exploding bouncy balls. Now you time it right, you can kick him back. Nice. He's not even learning. Amazing. The perfect weapon for Grayson to use his soccer skills on. <laughs> now you, you can't just you can you can shoot him. I mean, it's not like. Oh, there goes he. Aha! Nice. And can you get his weapon? Yes. Cool. Ow! <laughs> so, for some reason, my t my my sense of timing just lo le abandons me here for a moment. There's a bit of a wind up on the kick I'm noticing, so it's not like you can yeah. just spam the button. Yeah. That's good. that's correct. There's... You do have to sort of get the timing down so you know the right moment too. All right, there we go. And... I love doing that. If you um, if once you've got him beaten and he's like in his like you know, you know finish me state, you can just leash his head off. <laughs> Brutal. All right, yeah, check this out. Oh, looks like you don't have a lot of ammo for that thing. No. Hope you're ready for me. Some of the bigger weapons like this and the drill, they have a relatively smaller ammo supply. Hmm. Although since I mean they can like kill in one shot, I mean you don't it's not you don't need to like lay down huge torrents of fire. Well you could, but you don't get to. Alright, Act four, chapter two. Man eaters prefer tight spots. That seems like an innuendo, but I'm not sure what it's Yeah, I don't get it. Innuen innuending. <laughs> I that, 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 that's what I'm going to use as the verb form of innuendo from now on. Should be the episode title, Innuending. <laughs> okay, does it mean oh, like, w like the whoa, whoa, here she comes? Like Maneater? Maybe. I don't know the lyrics to that. Whoa, whoa, here she whoa, comes. Whoa, whoa, here she comes. Yeah. 